We got some good games next week in the Open Division, but D1 giving us the goods tomorrow. And that's where we start with this week's Built Ford Tough Matchup. Oh, and we're getting some great mileage on the H1 in our Ford Encore because it's Hano Hold time on Farrington Highway as OIE champion Waipahu will play host to ILH League champ Iulani. Now, 89 days ago, the Raiders laid out the welcome mat in Mo'ili'ili and straight up ripped the rug from under the Marauders as linebacker Lanakila Pei recorded seven tackles, two interceptions, two sacks, and a fumble recovery en route to a stunning 55-14 drubbing. But one thing to keep in mind, more than 20 players weren't in blue and gold, serving suspensions for violating team rules. Now, at full strength, can Waipahu avenge the loss? Or can the Raiders sustain supremacy? We'll find out under the 808's Friday Night Lights. I think last year, you know, they were just so full of joy that they won the OIA. I think winning it again this year, it's, it's something they did and they're hungry for, uh, you know, a state. Um, even more so than, you know, years prior. So they're definitely uh, focused. Um, they know they're playing a team that, you know, beat them pretty bad the first time around. They know exactly what they do. Um, and we've been just laser focused the last, you know, last week and then going into this week as well. Our thing all year, and especially during the summer, was that, you know, we're not gonna work this hard just to be mediocre. You know, everybody's saying that, you know, hey, you got, four weeks off and this and that, you know. And this, you know, if it was a normal group, I'd be a little bit worried about it. Um, but again, this, this group has, has kept themselves focused in on, on what they want to get done. Now, dating back to 1974, Iolani has dominated the series going 12-1, including a victory in the Division II state title game seven years ago. All right, coach, heading into the season, Iolani was a big question mark, mainly stemming from the loss of the remarkable quarterback, Ty John Mizutani, now as Central Washington. But the play of junior Jonah Chong has really set the tone for this offense, hasn't it? Yeah, it really has. And when you talk to Wendell, look, he says not only that, Jonah Chong is a cerebral player. He studies film, understands where to go with the ball pre-snap. Once the ball is snapped, Jonah has made good decisions. Quarterback coach Joe Lane is very good at what he does. And you remember Reese Foy, you remember mm -hmm. Ty John, you talked about him. This is an offensive line, Rob, that averages less than 200 pounds per man. They do have a wide receiver in Carter Kamana, and he is D1 good. But Iolani has not played in four weeks. But this is a good group. They practice hard, and Coach Look loves to coach these guys. Now, as for the Marauders, as mentioned, only 27 players suited up in that first game between these two teams. The defense in particular was hit hard, but recently, oh, they're full strength. Yeah, and when you talk to Coach Look, he's noticed the tremendous improvement in Waipahu. In the first meeting, Waipahu had a lot of ineligible players. They had injured players, but their defense is led by Deacon Capella and Zeandre Benjamin. Each of them have six interceptions. That ranks second in the state. Offensively, you have one of the best backs in the state in Alfred Failunga. This is going to be a much better game, Rob. The last time they played... Uh, give credit, though, to Bryson Carvalho and his staff. All right, a ticket to the Division I state title game on the line. Catch it on the blue and gold bleachers or on your couch via Spectrum. Either way, listen for the crossing signals, will you? Because the hype train, oh, it's full steam ahead. Choo! Choo! <laughs> Love it. <laughs>